Much love, my beautiful, beautiful people, beautiful family. I love y'all. I hope y'all taking care of yourself. I hope y'all, you know, doing everything you need to do to be the best you, you, you can, right? So, I'm going to get into what the third eye is. A lot of people hear about the third eye and this, that, and the third. Unlock your third eye. I'm woke and stuff like that. But they don't truly know what the third eye is. So, the third eye, for if you, if you don't know, is, is a chakra that everybody has, right? Right? It's in the middle of your brain. And it's not just a chakra, it's actually a gland. It's called the pineal gland. So the pineal gland is in the middle of your brain. And it's yo, it releases a molecule called DMT. And DMT is like your connection to the universe. And it allows you to process higher dimensions. You feel me? So a lot of people's pineal gland is calcified. I'm going to get into how you can decalcify your pineal gland and things to stay away from so things to stay away from to you know that can de that, that can calcify your pineal gland is fluoride fluoride water fluoride toothpaste you know try try to take cold showers because uh, or, or colder showers you don't even have to be ice cold but like a little less than warm because when you're in a hot shower your pores are open and fluoride just getting straight into your bloodstream Stay away from that because it cl clouds your pineal gland and it cuts your connection off to the universe, your intuition, you know. Grow your hair out. Your hair is like your antennas to the universe, especially if you are black, um, specifically. But if you're not black, you can grow your hair out. A lot of times people hear female intuition. That's why, because their hair is usually longer than males, so their connection to the universe is a lot stronger. They have their senses up, be on point. And yeah, a lot of times. So that's why a lot of a lot of times girls be like, "Oh yeah, I know he cheating." You feel me? He something. And a lot of times, uh, eight times out of ten, he be cheating. So I'm not gonna. Yeah. So with that being said, you know, just keep that in mind. Make sure you stay away from new things. Things that can help are apple cider vinegar. It's probably flipped, so you probably can't you know see it, but it's apple cider vinegar, organic apple cider vinegar. Take a shot of that a day. Dilute it with some water because it, it is strong. Um, or you can just put it inside a meal that you're eating or whatnot, and you will be good. So make sure you keep that in mind, and you will be you will be good. So apple cider vinegar. You could take a herb called harataki. H a r i t a k i harataki ashwagandha. I'll put all of those things in the link in the description so you could Google it. You can do your research if it's around you. You know websites you can get it from. Um, it's just, it's herbs and herbs. The herbs help your lucid dreams more to be defined. Uh, your dreams be more vivid. You are get into meditation deeply, deeper and stuff like that. So that's what the third eye is. It's, it's a pineal gland. It's your pineal gland. And speaking of which, I actually have a drawing that I drew. And in this drawing that I drew, it is something corresponding to something called the Eye of Horus. The Eye of Horus is something from ancient Egypt that the people there understood that it was in the middle of the brain. A lot of times people think that we were dumb or, you know, Egyptians were dumb because Egyptians were black. So, yeah, the original Egyptians were. So, this, this drawing I drew uh, is it, really beautiful, as you can see. I really like this drawing. It's supposed to be a representation of me, but this symbol on his chest right here, right? That is called the pineal gland or the eye of Horus. The eye of Horus is the shape of your pineal gland. If you do compare eye of Horus to pineal gland, you will see that each line is a part of your brain. It's in the middle of your brain, and it connects you to the universe. Have more spiritual experiences. So... You got to understand that you got to stay away from things that can cloud your pineal gland. Eat healthier. Uh, if you eat a lot of meat, it can cause you to calcify your pineal gland. Uh, meat can be good to a degree if if it's consumed or eaten right or killed right. Because a lot of times in these farms and the things that people get these meat from, 
they they kill it. They uh, the cows get tortured all their lives. Chickens get tortured all their lives, right? And then they get slaughtered. All that stress hormones, cortisol inside of the muscle tissue gets stored there. So now you go to get buy your Big Mac. You eating that. Now you just swallowing depression and sadness and 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 stress. And now you feel subconsciously more depressed, even if you're not aware of it. You you subconsciously feel more depressed, feel more sad. So. Keep that in mind. Make sure that you are eating more electrical foods. Electrical foods. I'm going to make a whole video on alkaline diet, electrical foods to help cleanse your pineal gland, cleanse your body, cleanse your, the mucus out of your body so you can be as natural as possible because we are natural beings. And we are natural herbivores, our teeth, our molars. We are meant to consume vegetables and fruits. Our digestive tract is built for herbal to be a herbivore not eating meat a lot of times if you eat and if you notice if you eat a lot of meat you can be constipated uh hard to poop and uh to have bowel movements and stuff of that nature so keep that in mind so don't be so fixated on eating meat try to fall back try not to eat as much food as well eat one meal a day one to one or two meals a day, Max, because the more you eat, it takes energy to digest all that food. So some people be eating three meals a day, plus snacks in between. That's so much food for your body to handle and digest. It takes so much energy. And if you know itis, after you eat, you get real tired. It's because, literally, you are using so much energy to digest, you literally get sleepy. It drains your energy. So you're better off eating one meal a day, and you'll be just fine for that, for that day. So I don't want to make this too long. I just wanted to let y'all know that, you know, what the pineal gland is, what the third eye is. Because a lot of times people hear about these things and don't truly know what they are. So I'm going to get into what, you know, chakras are, breaking it down. Uh, you feel me? I got my chakra, my chakra color, bra my chakra color bracelet that I wear all the time and stuff like that. I'm going to get into what color, uh, what each color represent and how to unlock them how to if you have um, imbalances i'm going to be breaking a lot of spiritual knowledge down for you guys a lot of health knowledge for you guys so make sure you guys like subscribe turn on a notification bell this is a new channel that i'm making and i'm going to keep posting stuff like this and stay tuned i'm gonna post daily uh, or i'm gonna at least try to at least post two to three videos every day talking about these various topics so make sure you guys stay tuned i love y'all i hope y'all keep taking care of yourself Keep, you know, finding yourself if and the universe reveals things to those who seek them. So if you're seeking for it, you're looking for it, it will show it. Eventually, it will show you and you will get your clarification and you will get your answers. So with that being said, I hope y'all have a wonderful day. Um, add me on at on Instagram at Mills, M-I-L-Z underscore D-G-A-F. All lowercase. If y'all wondering what that means, it means doing great always and forever you know not don't give a fuck <laughs> originally it was but i switched the meaning so you know it could mean my own meaning personal personally so follow me on there i have a lot of positive energy motivational videos advice uh all types of various topics so make sure you guys stay tuned to that and like i said i love y'all and i'm out